other things. Well, let's see. I have my sort of okay. Yeah, let's check your list on, again. On, there. Here, here's oh, what okay. I was doing. So I started. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to discipline myself into both picking and finger picking. Okay. Make sure that I keep up with things, and and I'm helplessly hoping. Um, I I don't understand. Um, helplessly hoping. You can see it right there. Um, I don't understand this. Oh, okay. Right here. I don't understand it. I watched, I watched the lesson a bunch of times, and I and I couldn't understand the timing of ah, yeah. like that. Yeah. And and so you know, I, so f for now it became a bit, just a bit of a. I gotta mm -hmm. gotta remember what we're doing here. So um, in the first measure, you really just have an A minor seven chord on. Like have yeah, have this on right in the beginning. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And then a hammer then, on here in the yeah, second measure, right? Yeah. Try to go a little slower too. So that's going to be a pinch and a hammer on, right? You're going to play a bass note with that. Oh, All right. Okay. Okay. That's and then still a little slower. Just, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's how that right. those two measures go. Okay. It goes to C. Can when you go to C here? Okay. Because we have that. G. Yeah. Can um, you do that or not? Is that is that is that not good? I'd do recommend that? not doing it. I'll tell you okay. why. Because the last bass note. Yeah, it, it almost really goes to a G chord here because this yeah. bass note comes off too. So if you've got these two prepped, you're going to have to remember to take this one off as like an independent thing. Yeah. Whereas if you're going to move this finger back and forth, when this finger moves, this one comes off too. So okay. it kind of like will auto oh, auto okay. trigger the change. Oh, okay. So so see if so so I I rarely play C like this. Yeah. Even though I use G in the bass all the time, I would always move the finger back move and forth. Okay. And the the my reasoning or logic for it is that almost a lot of times you, you want to be doing something else with your fourth finger. Yeah. You know, so you need your fourth finger to be available to do other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, sometimes and sometimes yeah. it's just it's just having a high G in there. Okay. You know? Now right okay. there it was I, I was really I did a lot of busy stuff in there. Yeah. And kept this moving at the same time back and forth and that right. that okay. is pretty difficult in general. You know it becomes yeah. these independent things. Your third finger is doing one thing and right. your fourth finger is doing whatever else too. You know. Right. But in this case it's a little more straightforward. Mm -hmm. 